Hello, my name is Anu Omidei with an election special in this week's Christian Weekly News. Sadiq Khan has become the first Muslim mayor of any major European city after he won the mayoral election in London on Friday. But Christians have been arguing in the media and on social media over the implications of his mayoralty, with some in support and others arguing that he has shared platforms with Islamic extremists in the past. Arguments against his mayoralty have centred around the view that he is unlikely to promote the integration of Muslims into British society. His detractors point to his track record as a human rights lawyer when he made comments in support of questionable characters and attended a meeting during which men and women were segregated. They also point to his speaking out in favour of incorporating some aspects of Sharia law into the legal system in the past, as well as his encouragement of suing the police for racism as reasons why he would be dangerous as mayor. But others have referred to these allegations as dog whistle politics and have called them attempts to smear the new mayor. Some have gone as far as condemning them as racist, pointing out that just because he is Muslim does not mean that he is an extremist, neither does it mean that he will unduly pander to the Muslim community above any other community. His supporters also point to the fact that his victory may do more to combat radicalisation as they say it would be harder for jihadis to claim that Westerners hate them after electing a Muslim mayor. Further, they say that death threats received by Mr Khan from some Muslims following his vote in favour of same-sex marriage demonstrates that he's willing to break with some traditional Muslim views. In any event, Mr Khan's victory brought the Labour Party some welcome relief following its severe losses in Scotland, having been pushed into third place behind the Scottish National Party, which claimed its third consecutive victory, this time as a leading minority, and the Conservative Party, who for the first time in recent history came second. UKIP made some gains in the Welsh Assembly, claiming their first ever seats and demonstrating that the issue of immigration is still very much alive. Plaid Cymru also made some gains in Wales, whilst the Democratic Unionist Party topped the poll in Northern Ireland. And that's all for today. I'm Anu Omidei and you're watching Christian Weekly News.